because you're near me. <laughs> I'm in the mood for blood. <laughs> Simply because you're near me. Ah, my dear sir, what a wonderful voice you have. Oh, thank you very much. You are a feast for my eyes. What to speak of the tongue? Of all the senses, the tongue is the most voracious and difficult to control. Control? How can you speak to me of control when the mere sight of you fills me with lusty desire? It is lust only, which is the all-devouring, sinful enemy of this world. You smart little Alec. You make me want to bite you. Yes, it's a fact. From lust, anger arises. From anger, delusion develops. From delusion comes bewilderment of memory. Uh, yeah, and then all your intelligence is lost, and one falls down at the material pool. You see, it's a very risky business. It seems that you are the one who are at risk, my dear. You don't understand who I am. Obviously, you don't understand who you are. Ha! What are you talking about? I'm Count Dracula, the Prince of Darkness from Transylvania. <laughs> uh, surely you are in darkness, for only an ignorant man considers the body as himself, and his place of birth is worshipable. Well, if you're so smart, then who am I? My dear sir, your human life has just begun. <laughs> human life? <laughs> Don't insult me in such a way. I haven't been human for over four hundreds of years. <laughs> <laughs> Try to understand. Your human life actually begins when one asks himself, who am I? You see, your real identity is that of, of spirit soul, eternally connected to the Supreme Lord and eternal... Uh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> well, I've never thought of it quite like that. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> and he, uh, an intimate relationship of love. Love? Love? You speak of love. The only person I love is myself. Actually, I would do any kind of abominable activity, commit all kinds of horrible stuff, just to please my senses. But you're speaking so nicely, it's making me a little bit meek and humble. Tell me, where do you get this knowledge from? Well, they're not my instructions. They're the instructions of Lord Krishna, as given in the Bhagavad Gita, by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhagavad Hey! Swami Prabhupada, my beloved spiritual master. Put that away, it is more brilliant than 10 millions of suns. Yes, Godhead is light. Ignorance is darkness. You see, where there is Godhead, there is no darkness. But you're wrong to think that this book will harm you, rather it will relieve you of all the misery of material existence, even your desire for blood. My desire for blood has been insatiable for over four hundreds of years. <laughs> How do you think you can help me with this book? You simply have to transfer your material affections to the transcendental consciousness of service to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And if you don't give up this blood-sucking business, there's a good chance in your next life you'll take birth as a mosquito. <laughs> mosquito? No way. That's much too soft. Maybe bat, perhaps, but not mosquito. Well, it's stated in the Bhagavad Gita that whatever state of being one remembers when he quits his body, that state he'll remember, he'll attain without fail. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know about that, but it sounds reasonable. What should I do? Oh, well, you should definitely come to the wonderful Sunday uh, feast at the Hare Krishna Temple <laughs> and bring all your friends. My friends? Well, my friends of the darkness, I don't think they'll be able to make it. Uh, why should I come there anyway? What's so great about that place? Well, you know, if you really uh, need to drink blood, you drink it after it's been transformed into milk, the miracle food, which builds strong brain tissues for better understanding self-realization. But the real test is in the tasting. What have you got there? <laughs> uh, sweets. Mm -hmm. Take this and enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> good, very <bird>, good. <laughs> <laughs> Better than blood. Well, I think I'm going to come. <laughs> <laughs> Where is this place? Uh, well. <clears throat> Pacific Beach. <laughs> oh, Pacific Beach. I've been there once before. Some smart guy looked at me and said, hey, it's a little bit early for Halloween, don't you think? <laughs> 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 oh, well, 
<laughs> anyway, the suite is very nice. I think I'll go back there again sometime. Yes, please, come bring all your friends. Well, my friends of the darkness, I don't think they'll be able to make it, but I'll try to come. Anyway, you've been very kind. Thank you very much. I'll see you later. Yeah, but before you go, I'd love you to have this book and give whatever you can as a donation. <laughs> Will the 20 be okay? That'll be fine. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna.